Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at LinkedIn and specifically the SSI or Social Selling Index. Basically, LinkedIn gives you quite a few measurements. Some of them you'll be used to, so for example on your dashboard, you might be used to these, da these uh, um, uh, analytics here. So people have viewed your profile, how many people have come to your board, etc, etc. Obviously if you click into those, you'll get a certain amount of more data. So as you can see, since I've been working on my LinkedIn, I've, I've had quite a big increase recently. I've started to do a little bit more. Um, LinkedIn, as most people know, probably isn't one of my favorite networks, so I'm, I'm consciously making an effort to dive in there and learn more. But one of the other analytic scores you can get is your SSI, so like I said, your social selling index. Um, and it's very, very simple to do. So all you actually need to do is type in this URL here. So linkedin.com forward slash sales forward slash SSI. And what that will do is pull up some more data for you, which is your social selling index scores. So I'm gonna talk you through mine um, and give you an idea of what some of these things mean and you'll be able to, to learn a little bit from that. So I guess at the top it's very, very simple to see. So I'm ranked currently in the top 1% of my industry, um, which, is, which is obviously a lovely statistic to see. Um, and obviously within my network I'm ranked within the top seven, which means, you know, I, that's a fairly respectable score. I'm doing quite well. I, I could do a little bit more, I guess, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I, you know, I'm quite happy with that. Um, and then I go down into our current social selling index. Now this updates every single day, so this will fluctuate and change. But actually, I'm scoring a quite respectable 72 out of 100. Now, all of these components on the side here, so establishing your professional brand, find the right people, engage with your insights, build relationships, they're all marked out at 25. And you can see that one of the areas I've been working on lately is building relationships, probably why I'm scoring quite highly there. But actually, what I'm also doing now is I'm building more, more content and spending more time on the network. One of the great things about these is, is if you wanted to look at these and how you could potentially work better with them, just click here and it will actually show you you what you need to do within that area so for example if I was to look at the top one I need to make sure that I'm becoming a thought leader and adding more meaningful posts now over the last couple of weeks I have been doing that so actually that's probably why that score is going up the other thing the SSI does is it gives us an idea of in our industry what the average person is doing so if I'm currently ranking at 72 actually I can see most people in my market are 27 out of 100 so I'm actually performing relatively well and people within my network are currently 45 out of 100 so that's where my top 7 comes from and my top 1% come from now, I'm down 1% week on week but that's not surprising there is going to be a little bit of fluctuation there but actually what that says to me is that if I'm trying to establish myself as a thought leader and doing more on LinkedIn actually I'm already being quite a bit of you know quite a bit ahead of, of where other people are in, in my market and what they're doing at the moment so I hope that's been a useful a useful little report for you to see. Might give you a few pointers on what you could do with your LinkedIn profile to, to obviously improve it. But remember, just visit linkedin.com forward slash sales forward slash SSI in order to see your, uh, your social selling uh, index score. Thanks very much for watching.